Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome to Post Cologne. Today I'm going to be unboxing three Middle Eastern fragrances, including Ahmed El Magribi's Summer Oud. So let's jump into it. All right, we are back with another unboxing first impressions video of three Middle Eastern fragrances that I recently picked up. Links are going to be down in the description if you decide you want to check any of these out. Also have some coupon codes, save yourself five bucks, five percent off various discounters if you decide you want to shop with them. So pretty excited about this, got a nice variety for you. I got a Rehan, I got an Al Watane, and I got the Ahmed El Magribi Summer Oud. Pretty excited about these, so let's quit screwing around and let's get into it. All right, kicking things off, going to the house of Rehan with Rehan's Corium Leather Edition. Now I scooped this up for $25 at Fragrance Buy and you can find it at other discounters for about $25 to $42. Again, links will be down in the description. So fun box two Rehan so far. I like the Elixir, the Ocean Rush was decent. So I don't know, let's, let's find out about Corium, shall we? All right, there we have the box presentation for Rehan Corium. It's got kind of these like embossed Arabic writing and it's kind of mimicking a leather texture that's going on in the box, but otherwise typical cardboard box. Let's check out the bottle. All right, and there we have the bottle presentation for Rehan's Corium. Nice looking bottle. It's got this kind of faux leather wrap going around it. It has this kind of embossed kind of Arabic script on the back that's on this kind of faux leather feel to it. So nice little touch. It's nothing too crazy, but it is a nice looking bottle. Cap on this, kind of a thick plastic. So it's got some, got some weight to it. And the atomizer on this, good atomizer, definitely get the job done. What does this smell like? So right off the rip, just smelling this in the air, really nice mix of some spices. It's got this vanilla coming through, some woods, and of course a little hint of some leather going on right now. Just a really nice spice mix that's going on. This chestnut that's in the air right now is really delicious with that vanilla mixing in, adding just that touch of sweetness, really nice. It reminds me of the Armani Stronger With You leather. That's really the vibes I'm getting with this one, but let's get this on paper, dive in. Yeah, so right off the rip, smelling this off the test strip, really nice spices that are coming through. It's, like I said, that chestnut. It has kind of like a, a bit of a darkness coming through with those spices, but it's mixing in with some nice woods that are coming through. Little hints of some of the oud, auger wood, a little bit of this like guyac wood that's coming through, kind of like rich, deep, dark styles of woods. Little hint of that vanilla that's there, but it's not as sweet as it was in the air. And you are getting a, a little touch of some aromatics, but really it's about that spice and that woods at this point. I'm not picking up on a whole lot of leather at the moment right now. It, it's there, but it's not like a leather forward fragrance at this moment. Like I said, spices and woods, and it's really nice. As it's opening up a little bit more, the chestnut is really pretty much the dominant spice that's coming through. It adds a little bit of a nuttiness to it. The vanilla is coming forward a lot more and that leather is starting to come forward more. And it's a very realistic style of leather. It has that kind of like new wallet style of feel to it. So a little bit on the fancier side, it's not kind of like a rugged style of leather, just kind of has kind of a, like I said, kind of a new wallet, new leather belt sort of feel going onto it, mixing with that touch of sweet and those really nice spices, that chestnut coming through, this is really nice. Yeah, I'm really digging this one. And like I said, this really does remind me of the Armani Stronger With You leather fragrance. It's it's definitely in that realm, definitely has a lot of overlaps with that one. So I'm enjoying this one. It's very, very nice, but let's skip to the dry down, see how this unfolds, and we'll go from there. All right, back with the dry down of Rehan's Corium. Been about an hour, let it settle down, do its own thing. Loving the dry down on this. It didn't change a whole lot. It just kind of got like a little richer, a little deeper and everything just kind of melded together a lot better. And it's just a beautiful wood profile. Like it's an oud accord that comes through, but it's like a very woody style of oud. It doesn't have that kind of sweetness to it or any sort of funk, but the guyac wood that comes through as well, just kind of very rich, has a little hint of some earthy spice that goes onto it. And it mixes really nice with that, that realistic leather. And then this, for me, the star of the show right now is this spiced vanilla accord that comes through, really balances off against those kind of rich earthy tones and it adds that kind of spicy sweet vanilla that comes through and just all blends together and works really really well the chestnut is still there so it adds a little bit of character so you're still getting that little bit of that nutty profile that comes through mixing in with those spices the sweet touches the the woods the leather it just all works together i'm really liking this one and like i said very similar to the armani stronger with you leather for 25 bucks, I'm really digging this one. It is pushing off the paper fairly well. I think this will be a great performer for the fall and the wintertime seasons. And overall, I'm pretty happy. This might be my favorite Rayhan that I picked up. But again, for 25 bucks, definitely happy with this one. That's Rayhan's Corium Leather. 
All right, next up, going with the house of El Watania, and it's El Lael. Now you scoop this up for $28. I think I'm pronouncing the house name right. El Watania, Watania, I don't know. Comment down below, I'm probably butchering that. Don't know much about this one. I've seen it on, I believe this was Perfumes Online that I got this one from, and just kind of curious. It's supposed to be a coffee fragrance, but let's dive in, find out. All right, there we have the box presentation for Watania El Ale. Nice looking box, got kind of an interesting pattern, nice design on it, but overall, typical cardboard box. Let's get to the bottle. All right, and there we have the bottle presentation for Alayel. Nice looking bottle, kind of got these kind of chiseled edges on it. The cap on this has kind of like a, like a wood grain sort of vibe going on to it, so it's quite interesting. And this bottle is ridiculous heavy. Like this is a very thick bottle. It's deceivingly how heavy this bottle is. Cap on this, definitely got some weight to it. It is a plastic, but it's a very, very thick plastic with that kind of wood grain that's going on to it. And the atomizer on this sucker. Decent atomizer. There we go, that's a little bit better. We'll definitely get the job done, but what does this smell like? So right out the gates, just smelling this in the air. Very fruity floral style of fragrance in that opening, not picking up on a whole lot of that coffee, but lots of peach, lots of rose, little hints of some raspberry that's there. Like I said, very more rose than anything. That's kind of the dominant floral right now, mixing in with those fruity accords. So yeah, that's what it's fruity floral, but let's dive in, figure this out. So right off the rip, just smelling this off paper, still maintaining that, like I said, the fruity floral aspect to it, but more of the fruity aspect is coming through. So I'm getting a lot of peach. The raspberry is a lot stronger off this. And the rose is, is it's a floral rose, but it's got this kind of jamminess to it. Again, kind of like, uh, contributing to that kind of fruity aspect of things, but it's really about the raspberry, the peach, that rosy nuance in there. A little bit of the white floral sort of vibe going on as well, but that's pretty much what you're getting is, is fruity floral in the opening here. As it's opening up a little bit more, you're, you're getting a little touch of some aromatics coming through. So there is a lavender that's coming through and you're also getting little hints of some sandalwood from that base. But through and through this, this the fruity floral aspect of this is really hanging on and I'm really having trouble picking up on any style of coffee note at this moment. It might take a second here, but that's right. It's a fruity floral fragrance and it's just getting a little touches of some aromatics and some woods. It's nice, but it's just, I was expecting more of a coffee fragrance and it's, it's not there yet. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to give this one a little bit more time. The, the peach note, the raspberry note are very dominant, that rosy aspect to it that's coming through. And like I had mentioned, the little kisses of some aromatics and some sandalwood, but it's not changing a whole lot. It's kind of maintaining that fruity floral aspect to it. So let's give this some time. Let's skip to the dry down, see how it unfolds. And we'll go from there. All right, back with the dry down of Al Watani's Al been about an hour, let it settle down, do its own thing. This changed a little bit, but it's still it's still not bringing through that coffee note that I was kind of expecting. It, more of that fruity floral is still going there. So there's this peach note that's come through a little bit more and the rosiness is kind of dialed back a bit. You're still getting that rose, but it's not as rosy as it was in that opening and that mid especially. There's like a little hint of like a kind of a soft sweetiness that's going on here. A Little bit of musk that's come through, but through and through this is still a very kind of fruity floral style of fragrance. And I am finding it does lean on the feminine side. I thought the coffee note might come through and it kind of kind of push it into the unisex territory, but alas, it didn't come through on the paper. It might be a little bit different off skin. It is very strong. This is really pushing off quite quite big. Like even when I left this room and, and was out doing my thing out in the other rooms, I could smell this one from there. So this definitely has that, that push and that power to it, but it's just the floral fruitiness to me, I do think leans more on the feminine side and just maybe not my cup of tea, but it smells nice. Just Maybe not for me. That's El Watanay's El Leal. All right, last, but hopefully not least, we're going with one that's been requested by a few of you out there, and that's Ahmed El McRibi's Summer Oud. Now you can scoop this up for about $44 at various discounters, and I've heard mixed things about this one. This is a great summer fragrance. This is a little bit heavy, and it's not quite summer, and I don't know why they call it Summer Oud, so let's figure it out, shall we? All right, there we have the box presentation for Ahmed El McRibi's Summer Oud. Nice looking kind of cardboard and exterior here, but there's more to this. This is a very heavy box, so I have a feeling we're gonna have a couple boxes. All right, and there we have box number two for Ahmed El McRibi's Summer Oud. 
it's really a thick box. This is a kind of quite heavy. How does this come off? Okay, it's a slide off top. This is like almost wood. This is wood. This is a wood box. That's, that thing that might be a first for me. I don't know if I've ever had a wooden box with our bottle sitting on the inside here. So that's why it was so heavy. It's, it's kind of a tiny little bottle for the box presentation, but that's, I don't know. I'm, I don't know why I'm so impressed by that, but it is, it's a wooden box. Interesting. Bottle presentation on this, nice looking little bottle here. It's got this, I don't know, it's got a kind of a very Middle Eastern feel to it. I'm not sure what it is about it, but nice kind of like round top to this that kind of moves down into this kind of, what do we got here? A hexagon style of base to it. So it kind of tapers down, nice chiseled edges on this. Cap on this is a very lightweight plastic. Neck on this, that is a metal. And the atomizer on this bad boy. Ooh, pressurized atomizer. I like me a good pressurized atomizer. It definitely get the job done, but what does this smell like? So right off the rip, just smelling this in the air, this is a really strong fragrance and this has kind of got some heaviness to it. So it's doesn't have that summer vibe right now. It's It's got the cipri oil, the saffron, this oud that's going on to it. So really kind of like balsamic spice, you know, leathery touches with that oud that's going on. It has a little bit of freshness going on, but it's it's really spicy. It's really kind of got that oud leather style going on to it. So let's get this on paper. Let's dive in, shall we? So right off the rip, just smelling this off paper. This is a very interesting fragrance and it's very strong, but it's got some really interesting kind of combinations. It's got this kind of like smoky mandarin that's working with that, that kind of that fresh, spicy, balsamic, cipriol, saffron. There's little hints of some rosiness that's in here. Some of that oud coming from the base. So it's got this woodiness, but that, that mandarin incense rose combination, it, just all that mixing together. It has some sweet, but it's got some fresh spice. It's got some like, like spicy spice that's working in here. It's a very interesting combination of notes here. Yeah, as it's opening up a little bit more, the rose is starting to come forward a little bit more, but it's not like a, like a, like a grandma rose or a too florally rose. It's really mixing with that incense and those spices. So it's got this like, this smoky rose, this almost kind of dark, style of rose that's going on to it. The oud's there, the leather's there, the saffron's kind of helping that along as well. And it's got that spice profile, but there is still that hint of that mandarin. So it's got that kind of, that, that sweet citrus kind of touch to it. So just kind of softening things a little bit because this would be very spicy, very like heavy, like heavy leather oudy style of fragrance if it weren't for that mandarin. And it's balancing it off with that rose really nice. It's, I'm enjoying this one. Very Middle Eastern style of vibe going on to this one, but it's if you're an enthusiast, you're going to appreciate kind of the, the, the variety of notes and how they're working together. This is very nice. Yeah, as this is moving along, the rose is just slowly creeping forward more and more with that oud, that leather. There is touches of freshness that are going on to this and, that, and little hints of some sweet as well. But at this moment from the you know opening to kind of the midpoint of this one, I don't, I don't think this is a summer fragrance. Too spicy, too kind of heavy wood, oud leather that's going on to this for me to really consider this to be like a, your typical summer fragrance, but maybe we'll have to wait for the dry down. So let's do that. Let's skip to the dry down, see how this unfolds, and we'll go from there. All right, back with the dry down of Ahmed Al McReeby's Summer Oud. Been about an hour, let it settle down, do its own thing. This more or less kind of kept the same character as it did from that opening in the midpoint, but a little hints of some nuances kind of came through. There is a, some additional like caramel sweetness that's just kind of around the edges, but through and through for the most part, this is a very spicy, earthy, kind of smoky, oody style of fragrance that has that rose that's still there. That mandarin sweetness has really kind of died off at this point, and it's more about the sweetness that's coming from that rose, a little bit of the caramel, little hints of some muskiness, but this is a very kind of, oak mossy leather oud style of fragrance with that incense that's kind of wrapped around and really kind of that, that spicy earthy sort of vibe going on to this. And like I said, I do not think that, I'm not sure why they called it summer oud, but for me, this is not a summer style of fragrance. This is very much kind of a fall winter style of fragrance with that spice profile that comes through and kind of the dark heaviness that's coming through with that, that oud leather earthy vibe that's coming through with it. It is nice. This is not going to be everyone's cup of tea though. I will say that this is not necessarily going to be an easy to wear style of fragrance. This does have some boldness to it. This does have like a very kind of rugged masculine sort of vibe going on to it. And it just, it's not going to hit, it's just not going to hit for certain people. I can just say that outright right now. And for me personally, 
I'm not sure if this is going to be my cup of tea either. It's it smells nice. I, I can appreciate it from you know like an enthusiast's standpoint, but in terms of just kind of wearing this out, kicking it casual, not sure if this is going to be for me either. But this is incredibly strong. Like Ahmed Al Maghribi, I'm not sure what they're putting in their juice, but this one is blasting off. This is a room filling fragrance at this point, and this is definitely going to just last and last. I can just tell it by the scent profile on this. So. I think we got ourselves a beast mode here, but like I said, very unique, not going to be for everyone, very bold, and just make up your own mind at that point. That's Ahmed Omic Ribi's Summer Oud. All right, so there you have it. That's my unboxing of three Middle Eastern fragrances, but I want to hear from you guys. What are some other fragrances you want to see me do an unboxing video for or a full review on? Comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love getting your different recommendations, your hidden gems, your different tastes and scent profiles. Appreciate you. And if you enjoyed this video, Make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. And we'll see you all next time.